Good morning ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to roll. It is 5.30 in the morning. That's right. So, let's get on uh, down the road here. I think if we go over there, not sure, but I think yeah, over there we can go through. Up here we can't go through. I need to be able to go through and go the other way. That's right. I need to get over onto the uh, road that way. Yeah. Because I need to go north over there. Yeah, you see right here we can go through, but up there we couldn't, so. Make sure we do our stop sign here. Nobody's coming, so we're good to go there. It's right there by that light, that's where we need turn to go already. Turn left on MA210, uh, and then turn left in 0.3 miles. Already need to make our turn. That's right. So according to the GPS, we got uh, 217 miles to go to Roseau, so we got a few hours to go yet. So let's get on down the road, and I know it's dark out here, so you're not going to be able to see much right after this light, so uh, we'll see you guys all down the road. Well guys, daylight is been displayed now. Yeah! Daylight is showing itself, but we don't have no sunshine yet, or we haven't seen the sun at all yet, but uh, hey, it is daylight now. Yeah, we got about 96 kilometer, 96 miles uh, to go up to our pickup place. About an hour and a half, hour and three quarters, we'll be at our pickup place. So that should be uh, should be interesting. Yeah, running all kinds of back roads up here. It's been giving her. Been on the road here now for at least two hours. Yep, haven't seen any wildlife out here today though. It's been fairly quiet. But I have noticed it getting colder as I got further north here now. It is below freezing point now. But that was to be expected, right? When you go uh, further north. Uh, at least this time of the year, usually at night, it will go below freezing yet. But it has been very mild. Oh boy, that dog didn't make it. Somebody ran over that dog. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that happens sometimes, you know. Some of these dogs, they run onto the street, and especially at night, uh, it was a black dog, so it'd be hard to see. Got ran over. Looked like it happened last night. Didn't look that, that old, you know. Yeah, he didn't make it. Too bad. But what can you do, right? It's just, it happens. So I bet some owner, some dog owner up here is gonna have a sad day today. I don't know if they're up yet, but uh, they're probably gonna be looking for their dog. We are going to continue cruising along here, 
but as you can probably tell it uh, has been warmer here throughout the several days already because uh, a lot of snow has melted you don't see a whole, a whole lot of snow anymore it's just like barely covering the ground yep good day that's the way it is Yeah, I've been hearing on the radio here the last couple of hours when I've been listening to the radio about all them floods up there in Louisiana and all that. That is not good either. That's bad news for those people up there. I saw a couple of pictures I think last night on Facebook. That was just terrible. And there are a lot of interstates were getting flooded and everything. You couldn't even hardly drive. A lot of water on the roads. You gotta be careful in water like that, that's for sure. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what happens today. Well guys, look at this. We are driving alongside a lake up here. I know we got a couple of trees up, uh, up here to the right as well. That might be a little bit difficult to see sometimes but uh, I figured I would show it to you guys anyways look at them ice ridges that they got up there uh, that's from uh, all the ice on the lake you know yeah, it's just interesting beautiful to see I didn't realize that I was gonna be going by a lake up here this close I I could see it on the map but I didn't think the road was actually this close to the lake up here you know but it is actually that close to the lake yeah that's nice to see though yeah some beautiful uh, ice ridges you know like they come up like that on the on the shore there and stick out like that it's <laughs> weird and beautiful at the same time sometimes you know but yeah we are driving alongside the lake up here nothing really out here but uh, a lake and that's it you know small road that goes by it and takes us to where we gotta go right here we go ladies and gentlemen we are now making our way towards the border yeah that's right we got 10 miles to the border pretty much speed warning Right, right. Yeah, we picked up our preloaded trailer now. Now we are good to go. Faxed everything off to uh, dispatch and got the okay to go. So now we're making our way back home. Challenge, I guess, for me is going to be crossing this border. Because generally I do not cross this border back to into Canada unless I have this particular load. And the way it supposedly works is I gotta fill out a uh, in bond sheet or whatever. Hopefully I filled it out correctly. I guess just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best, I suppose. But I tried anyways give it a try and see how it works but, uh, yeah I'm really hoping I did it correctly that's that's my goal well we'll have to see I guess it's actually not too bad with temperature up here it's like right around freezing point right now we got about uh, 73 miles to go and then we'll be at our yard in Steinbach. It's only about an hour and 15 minutes worth of driving but uh, yeah I'm always nervous with these type of loads because I don't usually do them and it makes me nervous every time I do them because because of the paperwork. I, I don't do this on a regular basis you know I only do this maybe once a year. You know, I forget how to fill that out, you know. Good thing is we do have a uh, guidebook. And I looked it up in there. And 
it is pretty good, you know, it, it explains it very good, fairly good, so uh, gives me a good idea on how to fill it out. I mean, I've never had an issue yet, I mean, I've done it before, and never was a problem, but the way this load works is different than any other load. Any other load, you gotta wait till you get the okay that you can cross the border. Well, with this one, no. This one, you just fill out the inbound sheet, you go straight to the border, you go put your power sticker on the inbound sheet, then you call up the broker, and you say, okay, I got this and this parts number, and then they'll give you a, uh, a code that you gotta write onto the uh, inbound sheet there, and then uh, you're basically good to go. I mean, that's the way they do it. And uh, I only do that every blow once in a blue moon, you know. But, uh, yeah, we gotta do it, I guess. We gotta do it. But we'll find out if we uh, will get across the border or not. <laughs> I mean, once we're across, it's easy, you know. We just drop it at the yard and we're good to go. Anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and uh, we'll let you know if we make it across across the border or not, right? Yep, we definitely will. Well guys, here we are. We have obviously made it across the border. Yeah, supposedly I guess I filled everything out correctly. That's right. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me across the border, right? And we got our stamp. Good to cross, you know, good to go. So now we're putting the hammer down, going home, sweet home. Yeah. So that means we're going to make it for tonight. That was our plan. Yeah. This guy wants to turn off here, so... Uh, Gotta slow her down a little bit. That's right. He's bringing some kind of wood chips or something up for some kind of peat moss up here to the peat moss plant. That's where we usually go down and pick up some peat moss sometimes, you know. But uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're putting the hammer down. We're just giving her. So let's get on down uh, over to Steinbach and drop this wagon and go home that would be awesome already ladies and gentlemen we have made it home sweet home yeah so now we are getting ready to have us a fantastic long weekend that's right we're getting ready to have us a good time here this weekend and uh yeah so i figured i would finish off my today's video and uh hey stick around we have some awesome video coming up here uh, pretty sure either tomorrow or the day after we'll have some kind of party going on here so uh, stick around for that guys and have a good one we'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>